Hello and good evening from Malaysia. Hello, Ben. Hello, Melissa. Hello, John Tanam. Nice to see you. Uh, you miss oh, hello, Rock. Hello, Steve. Who else? A75 Creative Flow TV. Hello. And welcome to everybody. I'm just uh, saying hello to you for the fun of it from Shah Alam in Malaysia. And I arrived here. Timothy, hello. Hello. Oh, no, Leary has just arrived, I think. Just logged out again. So anyway, I've just um, about to go to bed. It's been a long day. Uh, John Thanam says hello to Paul and Owen. Um, yes, <laughs> we're um, anyway, it's um, end of my first uh, day in Malaysia in my life. And I must say it's been a pretty rich day. Lots and lots of things to see, lots of places to go, lots of people to meet. It's been it's been very interesting. Too much to to uh, describe now. The mosque, yeah, I, the photograph. The mosque was amazing. You're from Indonesia. Hello, hello, Anas Anas Reza. Excuse my uh, pronunciation. Yeah, how long are you away for? I'm away for uh, eight days. Let's say. Eight days. I left on a Friday. I'll be back to Cork on a Saturday. Virginia. Hello, Virginia. United States. Virginia in the United States. Hello. Yes, this is a man who hasn't been to bed for about about two days at this station. <laughs> I'm not sure when I was last in bed. It was a very long time ago anyway. And uh, it's certainly... Uh, time to have a decent night's sleep. Hello, you're, you miss oh, you miss oh, hello. I'm very well, considering I'm very well. I'm at work in Malaysia. I'm at work in Malaysia. I've come from Cork to um, Shah Alam, just down the road from Kuala Lumpur. Um, Japan, I know, 26 Japan, five for Samoa. Jonathan, were you watching the match? Were you watching it? We we haven't been able to see it here. Owen and I are both gutted. But my favorite team is Japan, as you all know. Well, maybe you don't all know, but I'm very interested in the rugby. And uh, special arrangements have been made to watch Ireland playing against Argentina tomorrow. It's on live now, Jonathan, is it? I, and tell me, are, how good are Japan? How good are Japan? Hello, T. McKee, hello. There is no Astro at your place. I guess Astro is a television, a way of getting satellite TV. Um, well, we don't have it. We don't have it. And anyway, the matches are on at a terrible time for, for Malaysia. I'm into rugby, into rugby football, yeah. Rugby, yeah. Uh, I have a very perfunctory interest in football. It, working here, working here. I'm... Uh, your husband is watching the rugby via Astro, right? I, I must say that, look, I really just wanted to do a short, a short scope because I've got a little bit of beer left and then I'm going to bed. which um, doesn't mean I, can, I can't show you anything really of Malaysia. The best um, thing I've done today in relation to sharing anything that happened in Malaysia is that I've put photographs. Um, oh, I know, John, I'll be... Uh, by the time I wake up, uh, we'll know whether the Springboks... Whether, whether they're going to be able to go home at all. They might have to leave the country if they lose to Scotland, um, or whether um, whether we've seen and heard the last of England. So, I mean, it's a pretty big night for England and South Africa, isn't it, in terms of uh, the, the fate of both countries' reputations hang in the balance in the next, the next um, what, 
the next six hours or something. One in million, hello. So it's certainly, you know, when I wake up next, um, the world will have changed. The world will have changed because either South Africa will have come roaring back. So far, the main, the most remarkable thing I've seen in Malaysia has been the mosque in Shah Alam. No question about it. The mosque in Shah Alam was pretty remarkable and we saw it in dreadful weather, but it was a most beautiful mosque. Um, I, I particularly like mosques full stop. I love the architecture of every mosque I've ever been to in my life, but I thought it was why is the mosque significant? Well, I mean, uh, it's a very recently built mosque, by the way. I think it was only built in the 1990s. Um, hello, Beck. Hello, Beck from London. Boop fashionista, hello. The, um, the mosque is otherwise, I think it's only significant because I love it. And that's why I'm saying that it was the best thing I went to today. Um, it, it has the the largest dome in the world, we think. And we think it's the second largest minaret, the second tallest minaret in the world. Um, but it's, it's certainly not a small, it is my first time ever in Asia, in any part of Asia. So you can imagine how excited I am. That's why I'm still awake. Um, Fireman Rich, Rich Roberts from New York State. Hello, Rich. It's it's uh, wonderful um, uh, coming to you from this side of the world. Russell's verse. Hello, thank you, Beck. Thank you. It's it's great. Uh, you you said to me, I think, that you've flown to this side of the world at some stage in your life, haven't you? Hello, Paddy McIreland. Hello. I shouldn't keep chaffing for too long because I do never scoped anyone in Malaysia. Right. Well, I can tell you that um, I've never been anywhere like um, like where I've been today. But during the week, I hope to see a lot more. Did I travel alone or with more colleagues? I came out by myself, but I'm with a colleague right now, and I'll be going back with a colleague after the week is over. So I'm not alone. And uh, Simon, Simon, hello. Simon from the UK, a great podcaster, a great friend of mine, is here. I should be drinking water. I know I should be drinking water. But look, if you'd been here all day in the heat we'd been through, you'd wash your mouth out for saying something as cruel as that. You know, a cold beer, surely one is entitled to have a cold beer before bed. Do you have any idea what it's like out here? Porig. Oh, Porig is here. Porig is here. Hello, Porig. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, thank you, Rich. Thank you very much. Porig, that, that made him smile. That really did make him smile. Hello, grumpy trucker. Um, uh, Jean. Pensive, hello. Hello, you live in Malaya. You may live in Malaysia. Wow, where do you live, Marissa? Melissa, sorry, where do you live? Where is it you live, just as a matter of interest? Um, but it's all new to me, I have to say. The breathing. Well, actually, I'm not too bad. I've been wearing a face mask, though. I did lose one during the day, but I've got a whole um, I've got a whole collection of them for the rest of the week. Yes, you wouldn't want to be breathing in too much of the stuff that's outside. It just happens to be for a few months in the year. Apparently, it's all uh, been told by two or three different people today that it's all because of um, what's that place called S Sumatra. Sumatra. That it's because of. Um, what they're doing in Sumatra, that that's caused all the pollution 
here. Um, somebody else asked me a question, and then I am going to leave you all. It was more for the fun and the kick of communicating with you from this side of the world as opposed to Cork. You see, I'm Irish and I usually communicate with people from Cork in Ireland. And I don't usually travel around the world. Um, yeah, it's good to be here. It really is. It's very good to be here. It's good for me. It'll broaden my horizon. It'll give me, um, it'll give me plenty of stories, plenty of experiences. And uh, so it's lovely. Jana has finishing editing your blog post. Oh, great. Excellent. Excellent. What is the view out of the window at night? I'd say it's... Uh, it, hold on, we'll have a quick look. Just have a quick look. The, the, I don't think you're going to see very much. There's a mosque, a mosque in Kuala Lumpur called Masjid Jamek. Okay. So there you are. That's what Shah Lam looks like from one angle. And look. Yes, the smoke. It's no. There's no smoke here. There is no smoke here. No, no. There is no smoke. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, I haven't seen any smoke. It's uh, that's all. Uh, that's not smoke, is it? It is. Oh, apparently, there's smoke. It's smoke, right? I'm a bit confused. The um, the air to show you. There you have the air pollution index one eight nine. It keeps going up and up and up. If that's the air pollution index one eight nine. And there's reason to believe that that, that that actually underestimates the the true position. Yes, smoke and fog equals smog. I think that's more accurate, yes. Can I say hi to Kieran? He's doing his pilot training. Hello, Kieran. I hope you pass your pilot training with flying colors. I hope you are a very successful pilot. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I've got to go. I'm, um, I'm flailing out. Thank you very much for coming. Um, I, I hope to have more contact with, with you later in the week. Stay safe and enjoy yourself. It's an amazing place, says Porig. Thank you, Simon. Bye-bye, Paddy. Cheers, Pensive. Thank you. Bye, Clashmore. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.